Now, uh, when I got this ball when to semi-rebuild, which we had to put a new pin block, new strings, tuning pins, uh, new hammers, regulate the action, I really had no expectations except that it sounded very good when it came in with all the problems that it had. The thing that impressed me is the engineering in this piano. So since I had no idea that they had a floating plate, I pulled the plate out and I thought at the time that the plate was sitting on the soundboard. But the plate can't sit on the soundboard and that's when I realized that it doesn't. It has a floating plate. So now I had to set the, the, the plate height and how I did that was what, what, the same way I would do it if I was setting the plate height for a regular piano is take your string over the bridge and see that you have your plate height the right height. You're going to set the down bearing by the AccuJust hitch pins, right. but you still don't want the plate too high or too low because then the string will be either too high on the hitch pin or too low on the hitch pin. So you want to really put the plate back where it was. But since I didn't know where it was, I've got to use my old method, put the string over the bridge and set the plate height. Now when I do another one, I will measure the plate height off the bridge and, and get that same plate height again. But the question now is, how do I adjust that plate? How do I keep the height of the plate? I've got nothing to sit on. How do you hold the plate up to the proper height? But when it gets into the wood, is it going into the wood or it just sits on top of the no, wood? No, it goes into the wood. It screws so into the wood. So when you turn the screw, it goes deeper and... No, it will not because you've got threaded plate and threaded wood so it stays wherever you have it. Because it's turning the same in the in the in the plate as it is in the wood. It never moves. That's the whole beauty of it. So if the plate starts out a half inch above the soundboard, it stays there. It stays there. Right. How do you get it to stay a half inch above the soundboard or adjust it? Now I'm I'm taking. I have to adjust it. I have to adjust the plate height. How do I get to adjust the plate height? One board, a couple of these. Okay. Slid this underneath over one of the holes in the plane, put that underneath and use one of the bolts as my adjustment. So now the, the bolt is not going in the hole, but leaning, laying on here. So now I turn the bolt, the plane comes up, take the bolt down, the plane comes down. So I set the bearing in, up in the base section, and I set it up in the midsection, set it up in the front. I took three points that I set the plate up. <coughs> Once I had the plate height, then I left those bolts in, took these others, screwed them all the way through. Once those were all set, take my thing out, loosen that bolt, pull my things out, and screw those bolts all the way in. How high does it sit above the sound yeah. How high does the rim of the plate? Okay, I'm going to say it's, it's a good uh, half inch, at least, if not more. This, you, you, once you set that, that's done. You never touch that again until you're going to rebuild again. Okay, so then the next thing is, you have to adjust the, the down bearing with the AccuJust hitch pins. So the information I got on, on setting the down bearing is this. You set it all to zero. You pull the piano up to 440. And then you make your adjustments up and down. And there's a certain adjustment throughout the piano. You, you pull it up to 440 so that the pressure on the bridge will be correct. Exactly. Uh, you got to set zero down bearing. String straight across the bridge. Then you pull it up to 440, and then you have to start in the treble and work your way down to set the down there. Now I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay. Let's go to the piano. So what you do, now of course we know that this is not level.
for a lot of reasons. It's not level. One, it's got to go up to go over the, the bridge. Your floor may not be level. So you start off with this leveling device and you set this at zero. Okay, this is called a Lowell down bearing gauge. Okay, so now I'm, I'm zero. Now I want about five degrees over here. As you go up, it started out about five, four, three, two, all the way up. You had more down bearing here. So you go from here and you go here. And we got, see I could use, actually use a little more here. I've got about two, I could use about five. So then what you do, I made this little wooden punch, and I put it over here, uh -huh. just gave it a little smack and knocked it down. If you want to go up... What are you knocking down, the strings or the pin? The string. <clears throat> the string. The string on the pin. You could adjust the down bearing. If 10 years from now you need more down bearing, you go in a customer's house, get one of these and tap those down. You, you never have to rebuild this piano because you've lost down bearing. And if you want to take it up, I took a little string lifter and uh, you just take it and you just lift it up. Look in. Yep. And you can do that at full tension? Yeah. And as you go up, you're going to have less and less. They have the most down bearing here and less as you go up. Hmm. That's their design and, and you can't argue with the sound. Not on this piano. No. Mm -hmm. Now, could the, the bridge ever throw you off? In um, what way? In giving you readouts for that? No. All the bridge is is a fulcrum point. You just take your measurement here, zero out here, and every note will have the perfect down Did you find variance in Oh, yeah, yeah, note? yes, yes. So that, that does make a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, look here. Let me, let me. I can see, like, this one's really high on the... Right. Okay, let, let me take a zero here, and I'll show you, and I'll go to another string. Okay, we're even there. Let's go on to the next one. No matter what brand, I like the idea. To tweak the bearings. See? And also the the adjustable plate, which would really be easy. See that? Yeah, way easy. He does that. Yeah. Well. It is down over there, supposed to be in the middle there. Four years ago in his class. So it's all different. Wow. Look at how much that changed there. Yeah. He's, if he, he so has you've got to measure here and then two. measure so there. If he wants to make a special plate, he just draws it out. They make it now, do you think a piano with uh, don't have that without this, there's still that variance? Oh, yeah. Why? How could there not be? So then this is much better than... Absolutely. The best, the best thing I've, I've come across. If you bring this up to pitch, after you've restrung it, how do you do the ones in here? No, no, you don't, you don't put the bass strings on. Okay. You put all the wire strings on, okay. bring it up to pitch, set the down bearing across, actually even, even the, the wound string, but on the first level. After you bring that up to pitch and you set all your, your stuff, then you put this on okay. and you do that. Okay. And you could set each string individually to get the 100% down bearing the same on every. And I, I actually went through it twice. I said it the first time, figuring that you might have some change, and didn't adjust it overall, but tweaked mm -hmm. each one. Now, to be perfectly honest, this is not a job you could do alone. Really. It, it, I started out, I was pulling my hair out. Got my wife here with this and the little hammer, and I measured out, and I got over here, and I kept it there, and she put it down to the perfect point each time, and we just worked together. It's very difficult because you'd have to take, put this down, knock it down, bring it back up again, remember what string you were on. It was, it really drove me insane until I thought, you know, come give me a hand, and she came in, and and together we we knocked it off and maybe about an hour, an hour and a half, finally got it finished. And that is, that is your Baldwin AccuJust system.